Welcome to the Louder Tales podcast. We hope you enjoy today's show, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here's your hosts, Rainbow and Tim. <laughs> All right, we're back. Hello, uh, everyone. Wanted to thank you for listening. And if you are a subscriber, we thank you again. And um, actually, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and uh, like us if you like our what we do. And if you don't like us, still like us <laughs> and follow us <laughs> and subscribe. Because at some point you will like us. You just have to give us a chance. We're kind of finding our little niche, our niche. It's almost like when I first met you and I was like, you're going to like me. And no, I eventually did. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, this is going to be a train wreck show today. So we don't have any guests and we don't really have a plan. No, we're just kind of so. here. We're going to wing it. So we get had, ready. Buckle yeah. up, folks. Yes. So we've had a few events in our life the past couple weeks. Yeah. Let's I gotta do the one year thing. Yeah. So I don't know if we anyone's ever did caught not make that. it to do an episode last Sunday. We had Yeah. Quite the emotional So let's start let's at least uh do this much and say that this episode may upset some viewers. You could be emotional. Uh, we're not intending on being that way, but some things could be sad. And we're not trying to make it worse, uh, but like the whole viewer discretion is advised. And uh, we'll just start out with that because you never know. We don't know what we're going to say. But yeah. um, we had some events happen. Um, do you want to start with that? So I'm not which one he wants me to start well, with. Well, should we do it I in chron Let's do it in chronological order. Okay, we'll do that. So what's our first one? I Is our believe. first one Gracie? No. Well, let's start with let's So we kind of touched on Gracie when we had Christy and Chad over here from Tame and Wild. So I guess we'll kind of start with that one. Well, let's let's actually back up a bit because I have a feeling this episode is going to be about dogs. Yeah, a lot probably about dogs. so. It's going to be about dogs, cats, pets in general. Yeah, but we got a lot. I got there's like four dog themed things that we really yeah. can can discuss. And so, yeah, folks, some of this is not going to be um, great to listen to. So we'll start off with what's been going on in our household, and then we'll kind of expand yeah. further. How about we do that? We're going to uh, let's bring up the incident with the family member's dog okay we're not gonna name names yeah yeah so we'll do that so we'll That's brush up on that yeah. again and this is this is something that happened in, uh to somebody in our family and we're not gonna name names we're just gonna we'll keep it as simple as possible but what happened is um somebody's uh that was your computer yeah so i hold on i'm gonna do something Okay. Really quick, because I think... Do we need to pause? Um, so, when I'm trying to... Yes, you guys get to hear the technical end of what's going on. When I'm doing the... Switching the cameras, it's doing that, so... Hi, Mom. Hi. If Mom's watching. Yes. We have a... Actually, yeah, let's show our, our other guest... Okay. Show her yes. right now. So we at first we're trying to keep things as quiet as possible. No, no, just use this camera. Okay. What? This oh, one. yeah, I guess it? so. Yeah, we got uh, that. Which one is, is that? One? No, that's not no. it. No. Oh, there we there go. There it is. That's okay. Oh, the camera's in the way. You gotta oh, move the, that camera, babe. This. You mean microphone? Yes. And then. Oh yeah. Microphone. Let's do that. Okay. Oops. So that now. is Gracie May. She is our pup pup that we rescued tim found her she is doing what we're calling nesting normally pregnant dogs do that well she was telling a story and we thought she is pregnant she is not according to the doctor that the vet 
Yeah, the vet that grabbed a feel. Yeah, well, he didn't do an ultrasound, and I'm a little right. bit concerned with that because I'm sorry. You just you, the confirmation needed to be there, so we might still wind up with puppies. Yeah, we don't know at this we d- point. We don't know, but it's okay. Uh, but that is our beautiful Gracie May, who yep. has she is, is super smart too, s- s- extremely smart, and she's so loving. Gracie. Like she loves both of us. She loves it when we're together. She comes in for that group hug and she just goes crazy getting to love both of us at the same time. That was all. You can lay down. (laughs) See how smart she is? All right. We'll go back to us, I guess. So I need to figure out how to turn. My ugly face. How do I turn the sound off? Maybe... Oh, like Windows sounds? Yeah. Um, probably in that center thing where, like, it shows all the different audio properties. There's it's one of them that mute. says Windows. Oh, maybe the actual Windows computer. Oh, Click the mute on that. Yeah. So let me. But that might. The, is that, that mute us? Totally, <laughs> that mutes us too. <laughs> yeah. So that's don't do that. Not gonna happen. Okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah, folks, you get to ride along with our. Technical train wreck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but That's I'm going right. to figure it out. You know what? They can hear some Windows sounds. Yeah. They'll know we're yeah. Windows you guys people. Will be okay with it, won't you? Yeah. 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 Yeah, just yeah. allow the Windows sounds. I am going to turn off a couple of mics, though. Yeah, well, those are already off. But anyway. Um, no, it shows that we're oh, well, well, they're, still with that. They're okay. muted in, on yeah. the end. Okay. Anyway, folks. We're back. Okay. <laughs> We're back. Uh, so, yeah, some, some dog things have happened in our lives. Um, so, I think I mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again for those of you who have not listened. Uh, we had a family member who's uh, had a pet, a dog. Um, I'm not 100% certain on the breed, but the dog, um, this family member, their mother was watching... The, the family members' children. So mother and grandchildren. Yeah, grandma and grandchildren. Grandma and grandchildren. Yeah. And she was watching the kids, and we're not sure what caused the event or what spurred the event to happen, but at some point the dog started to maul her to the point where she was in fear for her life. And it's bad. It's It's bad because... It doesn't get better, folks. This is not a fun story for me to retell. And this wasn't a simple bite. And she, when he says she was in fear for her life, her life was, could have very well come to an end had the police not gotten there when she, they had. She had to use, uh, I think, Siri yeah. or, or whatever automated system to call the police. Call, call for help. Yeah. She had to call for help. Yeah. And that's that's terrifying. And but the young child, goodness we're, we're, for yeah. <laughs> thank you for some technology because that's yeah. that's a lifesaver. Yes, Literally, uh, she had to call for help, and this uh, the young child um, was observant to this entire event, and the police showed up to try and um, get the dog off of the grandmother and was unable, unable to stop this dog from continuously mauling her. And so the, the law enforcement had to dispatch the dog with a firearm. So this is a bad situation that got worse. Yes. It, it went from, you know, a a dog bite to a dog mauling to, now the the granddaughter is watching this happen uh, in real time. And yeah. So hang, the, hang on, we have a dog. She's trying to get a cat. That's all yeah. it is. Hey, there's a cat. Um. So no, go lay down. Yeah, go lay down. So this happened in. I don't remember the time span of. It I was think bad. It's been two three weeks no no the time oh. span of the event oh I think however it was like long a half an it hour. was the yeah like tim said the <sighs> cops had to get there and the only way they could stop this dog from c- 
continuing to tear and I'm going to say tear up and I will go into further on that was they had to physically shoot the dog to get the dog to stop. So this, this child now is going to have the trifecta of PTSD with dogs, police and guns, all three. Yes. But Thank goodness her father is who he is because I right. can see him working really hard to make sure that Absolutely. she works through those. I mean, this is, yeah. But I can't see them getting a dog, a new dog anytime yeah. soon. Sorry. So no. I there Go was an now. update on grandma and she has been moved to that rehabilitation. So she's no longer in ICU. No, she's, she's out, but she is in a rehabilitation center. She still will be going through numerous surgeries reconstructive surgeries skin she has grafts just her not just skin grafts but like th- holes being sewn yeah. up she has a hundred mm. plus bite marks rips <sighs> over her she's wow yeah it, marcy posted get out of there so Not you. yeah that we won't, we won't name names yeah so. no no but I, her i will yeah, because you yeah. know she's uh, Sorry, Marcy. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Marcy. Marcy is our niece. Marcy Buckets. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, but no, it was a pretty a pretty graphic situation. And it not just, it did not just affect them, but it's affected everybody else who's involved in the care, the trying to yeah. help the family work through that because it wasn't just little girl. They also have a son, but they also have two other daughters who, you know, I think one's still in high school, one's in college. Let's, let's not get into, okay. okay. Uh, we're not okay. trying to no spill out family business, no, but no, I mean, the but, dog attacked someone, yes, that's the bottom yes. line. And, and it was horrific and it affected all of us. I was in tears when I heard about it. Yeah, we both were. It's we, it took us a couple of days to kind of grasp what happened. Yeah. This isn't, this is not just somebody got bit. This is like, holy shit. Let me just say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this just, wasn't a simple dog bite. This was a gruesome. Yeah. So that it's, yeah. and so that's in the back of my mind. All right. So that's, that's number one. Number two is I find Gracie May yes. on the side of, the road basically i found her i think she was like she was checking me out for to make sure that i was a good person because she was there anywhere between one and three weeks on her own out abandoned she was left by some people um we are we are very certain that this is the case the people had moved and left her just left her out. They are not, where's our dog? There's no posts on Facebook. There's nothing saying that these people were heartfelt sorrow because we have to relocate and we need someone to come and take our dog. Nothing. Just dog was outside. We have, there's, it it, it frustrates us to, to know that there's people that will do this. Well, this is against the law, folks. Don't do this. This is bad. Um, the good news is, is that she's with us now, and she's yes. she's got a home that's a forever home. Yes, and she's going to be living it up on our couches, on uh, our front seats to our cars. Hopefully, um, she's getting. She, better. She'll be there. She'll be there. She jumps up in the bed when you leave. She absolutely is probably one of the most loving and smart dogs I've ever known. She really is. Um, just a gem. I'm, I'm, she was in the dog universe sent to us and we're, that brings us to number three of the dog themed events. Number three is we had to put our family dog down of, our senior pup pup. of eight years that we had yes. him and he was not eight years old. He was about 10 or 10 and a half, somewhere in that range. When we first got him, our dog Cobain had heartworms. And as we understand it, that will take a toll on the overall length of 
how long that dog can live uh, because it does damage to the heart. But he was um, he was a wonderful pet, and we got to enjoy many good memories with him. In fact, when I look at the pictures and I see all the people happy, every every picture he brought joy to every person. Cobain was just a happy dog. So we rescued him in Hawaii. That's where we got him. Yes. And as everybody knows, Hawaii is the Aloha State, which yeah. is just happy Aloha. Yeah. And Cobain was just that. He he there was nobody that he didn't like, minus the one person when we first moved here who was <laughs> But there was yeah. I mean, he wasn't afraid of anybody there. If someone was down, they were smiling after they saw Cobain. Yeah. Because he, everybody came to see him, not us. This was a dog that showed genuine love to every person. And it wasn't like, I'm excited to see you, love. It's more of, I'm here for you. Yeah. Hi, you're here. Right. Yes. It 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 wasn't. He a, was everybody's best friend. He really was. That's what it was. When the you know we had to have the police over here a couple of times, you know, teenage boys, yeah. and you know the police would walk in. Of course, they're always leery, but Cobain was always right there. Hi, hi, pet me. Yep. Hi. Yeah. Very friendly. Um, I think he barked a grand total of five maybe, whole times maybe in and the entire eight a, years it was a half bark he, yeah and he just yeah. he was such a wonderful dog so he was rest he all, in peace yeah he also we had we have two trees in our backyard yeah and he w- had a a friend over another a dog friend up, yep. yes and they were running around the backyard and he was looking behind him, running full speed. And mind you, he was Rhodesian Ridgeback and Greyhound. Yeah, so full speed, was, yes. that meant something. <laughs> so he, by the time he turned around, the tree trunk, which, mind you guys, was probably only this big, he turned around and just smacked right into it. And he dazed himself like he knocked himself over. He yeah, it started was, convulsing. Yeah, he had like a seizure yeah. or something. He it was yeah, it was horrific. I mean, I saw it happen, and immediately went up to him, and you know, I I was freaking out. Uh, and this I is, was. How yeah. many years ago was this? This is back in 2020 or 2019. No, it was it was because it was right before yeah. right before COVID started. So it had to have been either it had to have been early 2020. Yeah, it was right before COVID, I believe, because we could actually go in, but. From that, yeah. somehow he detached the some, nerves it, yeah, in the some, back of his eyes. Yeah, something yeah. with his vision went out. And, and it caused him to go completely blind. But it was slow. It wasn't it wasn't instantaneous. Yeah. So yeah, he, we, we noticed, you know, slowly he started getting a little lost, yeah. uh, would start running into things, you know. Yeah. Um, and the vet even said that Which it was is, deep. Sad. It wasn't the front like normal. It was deep, deep. Right. We it wasn't like pay for him to have surgery for it not to be a guarantee. Right. And we didn't know because we yeah. couldn't get him into a specialist because yeah. COVID was yep. like everybody freaking out. But anyway. Well, that and we're also the the pet parents that yeah. yes we love our animals, but at what cost? I mean, should we pay all that much money for something that might make them feel worse? It's hard. It's that's it, a tough one, and really nobody is. can give you the right answer for they that. Can't. Nobody can say, "Hey, this is how much you should spend on your pet," because mm-hmm. this is yeah. you love this pet. And it's part of your family. It's yeah. it's what gives it, you. But we do everything. pay. You yeah. Know, well, we, yeah. We, yeah. Mean, it's we take them to the vet. Right. We, like Cobain when he knocked himself out, he stayed overnight at the vet. That's the one thing we did. Yeah. You know, we definitely do. But at some point, we have to make decisions. Like when we had to put him down. He was at a point to where we had to make that decision for him, not for us. It was sad. It and was so hard. It was one of probably knowing to put your pet down is one of the hardest things that you can ever. 
it ever do so bad but at the same time we have to love our pet our pets that much you have to know when it's it's not about us yes we, we love our pets that much but we have to realize that we have to love our pets enough to let them go yeah we, we can't, can't you can't keep a pet forever that doesn't no. work that way it doesn't you have to understand you know and i think cobain knew it was his time he was comfortable yep i think he he gave us that ease that he was okay that yep. it's 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 okay he understood you yeah. know and and we brought him in you know took him for his last car ride and and yep. uh but we got him home now he's yep. he's home He's, He's home. We got him. Uh, to his, other his, his four-legged brother, brother yeah. we'll call yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. But that's so the dog universe that the dog universe that was discussed, we somehow in the dog universe It was we, meant. Yeah, it was meant for Gracie to be in our lives. And I think, you know, that that little bit of pep that Cobain had right before, you know, yeah. it was it was that, him saying, Yeah, this is the right this is the right decision. Yeah. You know, and she was meant to be in our lives, not yeah. just a, a brief passing by, yeah. but uh, she was meant to be part of our lives as a continuing thing, not just a, yeah. you know, we're helping her in transition. Yeah. This is, no, this is was, her transition. She's yeah, home. She's home. So and I think Cobain was also happy because he knew he could finally. Yeah. I think he knew that it was time to, to let go of his effort to try and keep hanging on for our yeah, sake. Because I think he was. I I think he was. But I regardless, he, he is running like the wind, and he's running through trees instead of into them. <laughs> yeah, wherever you are, Cobain, we miss you. All the beautiful colors miss you. and the rainbow, and we do. We miss you so, so much. Yeah, so that's, that's number three. Mm-hmm. And then... And number four. One. And this is uh, probably the smallest piece of news really i mean it's not very big i don't think it's that big of a deal as a letter carrier or what i call myself a mailman because i deliver mail i had an encounter with someone and i can't i'll just i'll explain what had happened in the order that i understood it to happen Um, so I came up to a house and I was delivering mail and I knew that this house had some aggressive dogs and I knew that there could be a potential for a problem. So, um, we have the scanner thing that makes noise. And I know that, that when the dog hears that, it's like, Ooh, ooh, mailman. Uh, and the dog has been excited to see me from within the house before where it, it goes up and, uh, gets on the window and it's, it's not, this is not a small dog. It's maybe 120, 150 pounds. It's a good sized dog. And, um, this particular dog, there was a a bus coming in to pick up a, a, a child. And as the bus in this particular location had backed into the driveway, uh, I'd waited for the bus to stop. And then I proceeded, went up to the front door, put the mail in the mailbox. And it was, about to leave and I remember hearing someone yell don't open the door the mailman's here and it was too late it was the person that was opening the door it was like one of those you hear the thought and it gets into your brain but your brain hasn't gotten that action to your hand to stop your hand from doing whatever your brain had already said go ahead and open the door that's our house every day yeah Yeah, my body doesn't always, (laughs) sometimes, sometimes it's my mouth that runs uh, without my brain getting into it, uh, getting into stop it. So just so you're aware, I have proof you said that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. That's fine. Uh, So I will occasionally say things and realize I haven't had my foot in my mouth in a while. Let's do that. <laughs> so I'll do that. But the um, the situation was the person had said, hey, don't open the door. You know, there's somebody, a uh, mailman here. And it, it was too late. The door, uh, this particular door was already broken. Uh, the screen door portion, it was missing everything on the bottom half. There was no glass, no screen. And the dog 
jumped over like it was a thoroughbred horse in the uh, Kentucky Derby racing, uh, you know, over the whatever those things are. I don't know. I'm not a horse person. I don't think they do that in the Kentucky Derby. I wanted it to sound like I knew what I was remotely <laughs> talking about. Jeez. I don't, what's the horse race then? Horse thing that does the jumps. Is there, a, is there like a... Well, I know they do it in rodeos and... Sure, we'll call it a rodeo. Okay. I don't know. All I know is that the, the horse, I mean the dog jumped over. <laughs> equestrian. Yeah, equestrian racing. Anyway, dog jumped over and immediately bit my hand. We just um, sounded really smart, by the way. Yeah. Uh, immediately bit my hand, but the dog was, it was aggressive, but it wasn't, it, I don't recall it barking. I don't recall hearing a growl. It could have. I don't recall the bark. I don't, I don't never, I don't recall any bark, but it was so active, so quick. I mean, it was just instantaneous. Yeah. Bit my hand and I, I had jerked my hand away and there's not much. I mean, I don't know, folks, if you can even see that. Is it showing up on the camera? Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. It's grosser. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And just a little spot. I mean, it's so minor. It's, it's, it's almost laughable. However, comma it still came after me it's it was still a dog bite it still broke the skin this is an aggressive dog this homeowner is in straight up denial if they are like oh my dog's not aggressive bullshit your dog broke a window she admitted her dog broke a window when law enforcement was there serving papers last december i know because i have a picture of the glass broken on the ground in front of their window. There's two windows. And then there's another window from May of last year. So this dog has broken through two windows. So lady, your dog is aggressive. Yeah. That's all there is to it. You can't say your dog is not aggressive and it breaks through two windows. My concern is how far does her have, does her dog have to go before she realizes that her dog is aggressive Oops. And before anybody actually does anything, yeah, uh, to I, make sure that it doesn't happen again, because it sounds like nobody's doing anything. It's what it sounds like. But I am not the type to really. Oh, there's a squirrel on the back porch. I'm watching the cameras <laughs> at the same time. Oh, shiny squirrel! Stuff. She's this camera. The squirrel's going up for the probably chewing on our porch right now yeah. as we speak. So Gracie. We'll sit there and she watches that squirrel. Do- She's going to catch that squirrel, by the way. That's. Should I pa- should we pause it? and I let her out. Yeah, if you want to. Let me. Pa- Sorry, we're going to pause. Yeah, we got to pause it. Gonna, I, I got to you know, see if this squirrel's going to get. This is our life. So this is. Hey, this is when a squirrel comes up on your porch and it's eating your porch and you have yes. a dog that's going to go after it. This is Sunday. Pre- she will stand primo entertainment. perfectly still like her fur isn't even blowing in the wind. Somehow she will stand. Yeah, I got a video of her. It's like 30 or 40 seconds of her perfectly still. And people are like, that's a neat picture. It's not a picture. It's a video. Like, give it a second. And then all of a sudden she moves. I just stood perfectly still for like 50 seconds. Okay. Okay. We'll be back. We'll be back. We're back. All right. We're back, folks. Okay. Uh, What was I saying? We were talking about dogs. Yeah, we were talking about your dog bite yeah okay so um yeah the the dog was aggressive um the dog circled around me a few times uh i ended up watching where the dog was going and then it it vacated the area immediately um or i i should say the immediate area was vacated and that's when i took my chance and i was like deuces i'm out and so that's when i just moved on to the next house um, the dog did end up following me a couple houses, but I'm not sure what the dog was doing. It didn't seem like it was interested in me or any specific thing. It was just running around. Um, so that was the fourth thing that happened. Um, so all dog stuff, really. Yes. In our world. It's a dog world. It's a dog world. It really is. Um, but we're not having puppies. At least... Not according to the vet yes. that did the thing. And it could be just that early. I don't know if it's 
that early, but uh, I don't she's know. been with us for a month. Yeah. So you'd think after a month, something would... we would know if there's, yeah. you know, little ones. Yeah. But, but I don't know. I'm not a vet. I'm not either. Uh, well, wait a minute. I am a vet. I'm a veteran. A vet. Yes. Uh, <laughs> not a veterinarian. Yes. yes. Um, so is. wait a minute. Does that make... What are vets that are vets called? Vet. Vet vets? Yeah. Do we call them vet. squared? Vet squared? Like uh, veterinarians that are in the military? Yeah. I don't... Uh, no, they're called vets because... So the vets used to come up... They actually inspect the facilities, like make sure stuff's not expired. Right, but everything. I'm saying a veterinarian they're, veteran. They're, they're the vet. They're a vet. Do they call... Is it another name? Because no. it's two vets? Nope. I want it to be a new name. It's not. I want it and to be something funny. I know that because, <laughs> you know, oh, the vets, will, the vet will be here later to inspect. Blah, blah. So the vets are the one who, who the vet, they're actually do the inspections of the buildings. Which I'm going to ask is, chat GPT. And there's chat GPT. So another, another thing. How do you spell news, veterinarian? Um, Google will help you fix it. Oh, I actually trying. spelled it right. Oh, good job. So you guys should also check out our website. There's a little bit of an update. We're kind of working on it. We have opened a store section. And my husband takes beautiful photography. And I have been trying to get him to sell it, which he does every now and then. He just doesn't do it full time because... He works, so I'm going to be taking yes. on that task. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yes, and well, she also has you lots it. of good ideas. So, and she's, you know, excellent with management and and doing that sort of thing. So I'm appreciative of that. Thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, we're going to be so keep an eye on our website as I get more photos on, and then we'll get it. We'll be on Etsy as well. So for those of you who know Tim and his photography, definitely check it out. Yeah, I like taking pictures. So someone actually said it's the art of noticing where I will see something and I'll be like, oh, I can. I bet if I use that camera with that lens and that filter with this type of exposure, with this type of you know, aperture, with this type, everything, all of it, all of it goes through in my head and I like see things as they are formulating on what the final picture will end up looking like. And I can see that when I just glance over and see yeah. something and it's, it's almost instantaneous, but I don't do a big 20 minute, like, Oh, let me think about this. It's just like, Hey, go grab a camera. This is, yeah, I can make it. You have an eye for yeah. beauty. Uh, vets. It I says to fool you. <laughs> you what? Yeah. I said, I managed to fool That's, you. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody has beauty. I think everyone does. Oh, yeah, everybody does. Everybody it's just does. how they portray it. Right. There is a, a no specific term that universally describes somebody who is both a veterinarian and a veteran. However, they might colloquially... Collo colloquially? Co-equally? Colloquially. C-O-L-L-O-Q-U-I-A-L-L-Y. Colloquially. There's your word of the day. I don't like that word. We're going to do another nope, one. That's your word. Refer of the day. to themselves as a nope. vet, vet, or double vet. So let's do a word. Let's do a fun word. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that sounds okay. fun. Before you do that, yeah, we're going to talk about that little challenge that we've been talking about. That if you listen to our podcast. And you hear the word of the day, go to our website, Yeah, leave us a comment. Yeah, leave us a comment so we know you're actually listening. Yes. <laughs> Tell us what the word of the day was and if whether you heard it on, you were listening on Spotify or YouTube. Yeah. And I don't have a decal back here, but we have little decals, just small right now. Yeah. That we'll send you. I'll get your. We'll address. figure some. Yep. We'll figure out a way to yep. to. We want to do a, like a contest 
well, of sorts. Little or giveaways. Not, not, yeah, it's like it's little, appreciation to let you guys know that we appreciate you. We'll start moving, you know, bigger things just right now. Right. We'll see if this is actually going to work. But yes, once you hear the word of the day on every podcast, go to our website, thelouderTales.com. Go to our comment page, leave us a comment, let us know what the word of the day was, what platform it was, and what episode it was. Right. And we're not trying to hornswoggle you. No. No. That, that's the word of the that's day. That's the word of the day. Uh-huh. Did you hear it, folks? I'm going to tell you the definition to swindle, cheat, hoodwink, or hoax. Hornswoggle. Yes, that's a that sounds like something from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It could be. I was a Harry Potter made up word. Uh, hornswoggle. It's number three hundred and seventy nine. Okay. All right. What's your dad joke of the day? I got to find one. You weren't telling him. Oh no, you were delivering. No, Amazon. I was. I was doing packages today. Uh, what does cake and a baseball have in common? Oh gosh. They both need a batter. I quit. Checks in the mail. Uh, no, it's not. Lies. We need to get that a uh, laughing. What did the tree say when spring finally arrived? What? What a relief. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. laughed at that stupid yes. joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Relief. I try not that's to a laugh at your jokes because I want you to think that's, they're not funny, but you know, I can't help it. That's that's actually a good one. So uh I I have discovered, you know, I was telling this to Tony. I'm I'm just I'll I've already told you, but I'll tell the listeners. Um I really like playing this game on the Xbox and it's a car driving game. In fact, let me just let me just tell this story to everybody. So, I decided it's a good I so I'm going to back way up. I'm going to back way up. I'm going to tell this story. Make sure you guys have something to drink. Get ready. A snack and yeah. you're comfortable. Buckle <laughs> up. This is a fun story. No. I'm not going to horn swoggle you. <laughs> This is a this is fun. So I decided I was gonna. It's been a while since I bought a video game system. I'm gonna like, go let our dog back in really quick. Okay, you do that. You take off. All right, it's me. So now I can tell all the secrets. All right. All right. So here's how it works. I decided a long time ago uh, that I was too cheap to buy video game systems. Uh, the last one I bought, I think I was in Iraq. <laughs> so it was like a, I think it was a modded Xbox. Or no, it was an unmodded Xbox uh, 360. I bought one of those and I bought a Wii and had that modded. And, you know, it's like thousands of games on that thing. And what I ended up doing was I ended up buying those and pretty much never playing them. <laughs> no, I bought a, a PS2. Is that the one? Do I have a PS2 or 3? Uh, it's PS3, I think. I don't know. I'm not super big on video games. So I bought this PlayStation, and that one was modded, and it's got hundreds and whatever of games. And my Xbox was not, so that was the only one I could like play online and not like get kicked off or whatever. Well, years go by, you know, and, and it's I have not bought anything video game. And finally, I decided the one video game that I want. Are you making fun of me? Hey. Get over on your side of the desk, woman. Anyway, so the I decided it's time to invest and to play, you know, an up-to-date game. So I was like, you know what? That's cool. I'm going to play. Uh, I wanted to get uh, one of my passions is flying on uh, video games. I like flying. I think it's fun. So I bought uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. The 20 year edition, I think, is the re edition or whatever it's called. It's the premium, it's got all the cool stuff. Uh, you still have to, of course, buy even cooler stuff like different airports, or if you want a different airplane or helicopter or something, you can get those. Maybe I should look straight at the camera. 
if I look over there, does it does it look weird? I don't ever. I don't think people. I don't know if they're looking at the camera. It's weird. I don't know because I'm like looking okay. at you, which is right next, and then I'm looking at the screen. Yeah. So I'm all over the place. So I don't okay. know. <laughs> so, anyways, I bought let's, this this uh, Xbox. Let's so look this way. Spent five. Oh my gosh! It's the wall. <laughs> <laughs> look over there. It's the other wall. <laughs> look. It's the ceiling. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we have lost it. Uh, if you find it, please send it back to us. You won't. Anyway, it ran away. Yeah. Um, so I got this yeah. video game. So I spent, you know, how much is the Xbox? series x i wanted the big one i was like Let, let's get mm -hmm. the big one so it's like 500 dollars, right so about this 500 dollar video game and then or video game system and then the uh microsoft flight simulator it's another 120 so then i, I was like well i i gotta have the flight stick uh hand it's called i don't know if it's pronounced hotas or hotas it's h-o-t-a-s h-o-t-a-s hands on throttle and stick that's what that means so you have your stick and your throttle, right? So I bought that because I wanted to fly. I wanted to feel like I was flying, which that was cool for, you know, a day or two. Literally and then a day or two. I was like, well, that's loading. Let me play this other game. So I got fours of four. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this game is awesome. And I started playing that. And I was like, this is really fun. And it's wildly immersive. So... I, uh, he's addicted to that game. I'm not going to argue that. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I, was I, was gonna say I'm not to addicted. Try. I was like, no, no, she's right. She, I'm addicted to that. It is a ridiculously fun game. Uh, you just drive around uh, on this open world map and you can. Uh, so how it is, is like there's the bot cars. So I've discovered this and this is. All right, you're going to love this, or you're going to think that I'm stupid. Or he's crazy. Or I'm crazy. But hear me out. He's crazy. So I'm I'm old. He's crazy. And I'm starting to turn into my dad. He is not lying there. <laughs> so and I, I will tell you why I'm, if he doesn't okay. tell the story. I'm, I'm going to tell it. Are you, gonna, tell you it. better tell the story. I'm telling it. I'm telling it. So... <laughs> So I bought this video game, right? I'm going to tell the whole thing. So just buckle up, folks. So I bought this video game, and I'm like, you know what? This is really cool. And a while back, I saw the... Uh, Joe Rogan had a, a video of... I think Cat, Cat Williams played his simulator. And Joe Rogan's got all kinds of money. Way more than what I got. So he bought the simulator i mean we're talking super racing chair with the hydraulics i think it's got hydraulics and it's like you're in it and it's everything it's like the whole steering wheel pedals all of it and i was like i want that that looks fun i want to do that so i went ahead and ordered the steering wheel the pedals a gear shifter because I can drive a manual. And I was like, well, I can't get all this stuff without having the e-brake because that's like part of the game. Like you got to e-brake it to shift it to, you know, do your drifts and stuff. So I was like, okay, well, I got to buy that too. And of course I bought the chair. So that hasn't gotten here yet, but I got everything else. So I'll be setting this thing up and I will disappear in the living room for probably three hours. Um, but I bought all this stuff so that I could pretend to drive a car and then i added up all the totals of everything and i told someone at work you're gonna like this i told them i said i just spent like maybe 1500 to 2000 dollars when you add the game system the three-year membership of the gold xbox live whatever it's called the video game that i paid for the pilot thruster the hands-on throttle and stick, the chair, the steering wheel, pedals, the e-brake, and the shifter. You add all that up, and I could have just bought a real car and drove it on the real road. <laughs> well, and he has two cars and a motorcycle and a boat. so. It's but I can't drive fun. it like a bat out of hell. I mean, I 
No. Kind of can, but I, it's illegal. So, I mean, I can, but I won't. But so he works hard. So he deserves to be able to play hard. He doesn't go out drinking. He very rarely drinks, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, he, he he's earned that. But at the same time, he's going to get to play that game for almost a whole week without me saying, I want to watch TV because I'm going to Florida with the week. When the cat is away, the mice will play. Absolutely. But they better not leave any cheese crumbs. Yeah, I'm not. No. You know, you know, the old saying, the, uh, the early bird gets the worm. But the second mouse gets the cheese in the trap. That's right. That's true. Absolutely. I live by that. So, yeah, I I will make sure and get some video of him getting to play it for the first time. And I will play it for all of you guys so you can watch it. It looks like it's going to be a fun setup. So, but that's not, that's not the part that she's talking about, folks. I haven't even gotten to the good part yet. So, (laughs) aside from. Aside from me, I'm going to get video of this oh too for you guys. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, so I've determined there are three different types of players on this video game. So there's the regular, like me, human being, right? Actual person mm-hmm. driving around and stuff. Mm-hmm. So there's this is how I understand it. There's this is Forza and it's Horizon, right? So there's Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Horizon 5, right? So two separate games. It doesn't matter each game. I I did this in five. So what I did is if you're playing Forza Horizon solo, you are playing the game in solo mode where you're not online playing with other people. If you're in Forza Horizon Life, you're online with other human beings as they are interacting. Now, both of those games have what I call uh, regular computer bot cars, right? These are the cars that are going the actual speed limit, driving perfectly on the road. They're not fishtailing anywhere. They're not hauling down the road. They're just, they're uh, interference cars is really what they are. It's so that you have to avoid that car, you know, or hit that car. If you wanted to, I mean, I guess it's your game, you know, and he you, likes to hit them. You drive around. I don't. And run over things and no. through things. No. Yes, what I like does. to do. That's why he likes. So, game. okay. So we got the bot cars and then we got human beings. I found out if you're playing Forza Horizon 5 solo. So you're doing the offline. So you're playing at home. There's other cars that look like they're people. And on the little, whoops, sorry. On the map, on the map, there's on the one side. See how excited he gets (laughs) talking about this game? (laughs) He just flipped me the bird. No, I didn't. In case you guys were wondering what he did, he just flipped me the bird. I just said hi. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, awesome. so there I am Sign. realizing that Sign. the Forza Horizon show. 5 solo mode has these little bot players and they look like human beings. They, it makes you think they're real people because these bots, they, they do burnouts and they do spins and they're, they've got a little gamer tag, you know, on uh, that hovers over the car and they're just driving along and, and they're having fun and they'll, what I like so the most popular place, there's two places on the map where human beings, actual people congregate in this game. One is when you buy a new car and you're at like the drag strip area where you can, as soon as you buy a new car and you get in the car, that's where you're at. It drops you off on the map in that location. So that's number one. And number two is the super long stretch of highway where you can take your car and Open it up. I mean, you can go as fast as you can possibly go. 275 miles an hour, you're hauling down this, you know, road. And you got to watch out for the bot cars, the the little fake cars, but also the human bot cars. Now, that's what I'm calling them, right? And I know know this is what's going on. Don't tell me I haven't figured this out because I figured it out. The reason I know they're bot cars is because when at this, this long strip of the video game where you have to, you know, at the beginning and end of the racetrack, so to speak, where you're just, where you can haul that P 
people like to go there, right? And you'll see real people congregate and they'll like honk the horn at each other or they'll like, room, 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 room. you know, they'll do stuff to get each other's attention. Now, I don't have a headset, so I'm not listening to anybody. And I'm sure people are like, that's the guy without a headset. We've already tried talking to him, but he's not. He doesn't talk back. Um, just ignore him. He's weird. So yeah, that's, that's that's probably what they're saying. Yeah. Which is right. Yeah. I'm yeah. Weird. <laughs> but here's the cool. So there's. <laughs> I haven't gotten to the dad part yet. He hasn't I've gotten. I've got. To, I'm still there. You're I'm fixing still, to understand the weird part. <laughs> so I've determined that if I sit, maybe a hundred meters or a hundred you know, a couple hundred feet from the origin of this long strip. As long as I'm outside of that little congested area that most people like, you want to race? Yeah, let's race. And then they race, right? As long as I'm outside of that area, I can park my car on the side of the road and just sit there. And nobody will come up next to me. Now, these cars that have the little gamer tags on them, I know they're not a real person because on the map, it shows the little the little circle that is that represents where these little gamer tag people cars are and those circles have like a little design or something in it i can't quite see it it's maybe the forza horizon logo or something on the inside but it's it's not the same circle as when you're in forza horizon life oh okay so when you're in forza horizon solo it the little circle of representing these little people that are not the bot cars, yeah. but they're like the people cars. But these aren't real people either because you're not online. But it wants you to think that they're real people because there's little gamer tags above them and they drive recklessly. You know, they, they hit trees, they bump into each other, they go for racing, and they do all this. But I think it's AI. I think that thing, that little entity of the person with the gamer tag and the little the circle and then whatever's in the middle of that circle on horizon solo is an ai human it's not a real living human it's an ai person and the reason i know that is because when i go into uh forza horizon life and i'm in the game and i know it's real human beings i drive to that same spot on the map and within two minutes not even two minutes the first person came up to me and like honked the horn and was like, me, me. And I'm like, me, me, you know? And so we'd like, have that go again. Repeat it one more time. You can watch the episode again. No, well, I want to hear you. Uh, say, oh no, come what? on. Just, I don't think they all heard it. Me, me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here I am convinced that the AI humans are, are fake humans in Horizon. <laughs> he does have friends, and I do. I swear to God, I go outside <laughs> once in a while. I swear <laughs> to God, I do. But So I'm, I'm figuring this out. Now, as I've figured this out, here comes the fun part, folks. Get ready for this. Oh. I'm going to, well, it's, I can't show them on the phone because it doesn't really show up on the camera. I, I have an app on my phone. It's called bird.net. And its only purpose is to use your microphone to listen to birds. Are you laughing? You're laughing over there. <laughs> so I'm going to do a backstory on his dad. His dad, loved, he just sits there and stares at his window on his many, many bird feeders. He loves birds. He watches videos, the live feeds of bird nests. So he 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 watches actual real birds in yes. in yes. real human life. Yeah, outside. Real, real yeah, and yeah. he yeah. goes on the computer and yeah. watches them. Yeah. probably okay. when it's dark. Now I'm gonna let him finish his story, and I'm gonna try not to laugh. All right. So I've determined that the Forza Horizon Five game developers have used. About a 10-minute loop of bird sounds. Because <laughs> I hear the same stupid birds. <laughs> or whatever the hell the bird is. I don't know. It sounds like a... How'd that go again? <laughs> not doing it. Oh, come on. You got it once. So I've determined... Oh, here, I'll actually... So this is what he does. I can do this. I'll I can go in this. there, and it's always about the time that I'm trying to make 
homemade ice cream or dinner or our granddaughter's here or a dog needs out. Let's see. But I hear him going, shh, shh. I'm trying to record. I'm recording the birds. I'm recording birds on a video game <laughs> really in the living room. Is. And all I'm doing is just staring at this car parked I, on the side I, of the highway. I, in a video game. In a video game <laughs> for like 20 minutes. He's it's like, he, he, this is the so, worst <laughs> conspiracy theory ever. It's it the was. dumbest one because I'm like, they're using the same recording for these birds. <laughs> Listen. Listen, wait 10 minutes. You're going to hear that same bird do the same thing. It's going to go. <laughs> and why he's doing it, he's telling us to be, or telling me to be quiet because he's trying to record a bird on a video game so he can figure out what it is. So there's one of them. I haven't figured out what the bird is, but it makes a stupid sound and it sounds really funny. But so, I'm going to play this. I'm going to see if it works. Um, I'm going to try this. Our, what was Gracie? <laughs> you got Gracie. What? Gracie May was barking or talking or something, and it said that Gracie was a certain kind of bird. <laughs> oh, it was a blue jay. Oh yeah, our I'm dog gonna do is, that one. Our okay. dog is a blue jay. <laughs> All right, this is this is. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, my stomach hurts. Oh, that was really terrible. Let me turn it back down, so it's not. Oops, so it's not so loud. Let's try it again. Are you ready? It's still really loud. It's high pitched. So she does this crazy? high pitch. Yeah, she does the Let me try like it one more time. Piercing. It's just yeah, it's just the recording. Yeah. Anyway, my phone thinks that that's a blue jay. So Maybe let me she... let me click on another blue jay and <laughs> Okay, that's from the game. <laughs> I can't. This is about the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. I don't know if listening to birds on a video game is dumber than talking about it on a podcast to people. And if you're listening to this... You might be doing something even dumber than me, because now you're listening to me talk <laughs> well, about... if they're laughing right now, okay. then it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're probably laughing at me, but let's... Oh, and for shall everybody I who knows us and knows Tim, I know you're laughing, you're hiding. Let's get right back now, to this true. super okay. important oh, discovery. Gosh. This is an American Kestrel, according to the video game. <laughs> that was it. And that does sound like it. I, I'm going to play it one more time. We'll play it one more time. Yeah. That just sounds like a squeaky wheel. It's an American Kestrel. <laughs> Let's do the, the Northern Mockingbird. Almost certain. That sounds like a cricket or a tree frog. <laughs> it's not. I'm going to do another Northern Mockingbird. Those are my favorite. Those are from the video game. I'm so. pretty sure I just heard that, <clears throat> or what I was hearing was that bird laughing. Yeah. <laughs> so but I, I like listening to birds. On video on games. On video games. <laughs> when he could just go step outside on our back deck. No, no, it's different. It's different. It has to be. I don't know. The first time he was doing that, he's all like, be quiet! I'm trying to record. I'm like, what? Are I you swear trying? to God, it's he's a like, ten. It's it's a it's, ten minute loop. It's I'm a, trying to figure out what kind of birds these are. I'm all like, it's a video game. There was a. <laughs> so, my favorite comedian, Brian Regan, does this bit. You guys have to watch him. If, so if you have not seen this, uh, I don't think we can play it because it's it'd probably be a copyright yeah, thing. Yeah. But I'll I'll give you the gist of it. This, uh, I guess, uh, Brian Regan. He was watching this golf tournament and there was this, you know, they're like, he's about to putt and, and then this bird makes this noise and Brian Regan was watching it and he goes, somebody called up the TV station from wherever that was and they said, 
whatever bird that was was not native to that area. <laughs> so so that makes that's kind of like me being that guy. Yeah. Calling out um Forza. How come you guys have a northern mockingbird when this is supposed to be in Mexico? <laughs> There's no mockingbirds in Mexico, but you got one. It's on your soundtrack. I listened to it. I had the car pulled over. I had to use a Cadillac, so the exhaust was quiet. My Ferrari was too loud. <laughs> so I listened to this Northern Mockingbird that you guys have. Played it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and I know it's a Mockingbird because I got a software on my phone, and I listened to it. <laughs> and it said it was a Mockingbird. And it said it was a Mockingbird. <laughs> So you guys, you guys lied. And that's basically, it's basically the same bit for Brian Regan. He's a great comedian. I yes. saw him live in Kalamazoo way, way, way many years ago, like 20 some years ago. He's a clean comedian. He does not swear. Uh, his, his mindset on that is he wants to be able to have his grandmother in the audience yep. and to be able to tell a joke and her not to be offended. That's a, that's a pretty wholesome answer. And really. he's really funny. Like you will laugh. He doesn't need to be vulgar or yeah. cuss to be funny, but he is extremely funny. He's really good. And I do want to say on the whole Forza driving game, the irony in you liking that game and then buying all of your equipment, as I'm going to call it, is you like to stay parked on the side of the road. <laughs> He doesn't even drive. He just stays parked. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no. Maybe. <I> like... <laughs> Mom. You said, you said, okay, for the record now, she did say, I don't like video games like that. I don't like the controller. I don't. And so I, I told don't. her, I said, if I, buy a, if I buy a steering wheel, will you race? And she goes, yeah, probably. I'll drive it, but I'm going to be driving the car, not sitting right. on the side of the road. So. And it's cool I'll because, be I mean, think about it. Car. This game really does, if you are so immersed and you really do feel like you're in that vehicle. I mean, they did yeah. all the sound. Oh, speaking of sounds on cars, we were watching the ending of the movie Gran Turismo on how they did the recording oh, for that yeah. movie. That is a really cool movie. Yes. So if you've not seen Gran Turismo, watch it. it's based on a true story. It's a great movie. Watch it. Um, it's about a kid. That wants to play video games. Or no, he does play he, video he, games. He plays video games all the time, and he becomes a racer. Not going to happen. Playing video games. You have to actually drive, not sit on the side of the road listening for, for birds. Maybe there's an opening for a... <laughs> for a bird watcher. Maybe it's like a forest forestry service person in a Ferrari... <laughs> in Oregon uh, that they need their hiring. You might be right. <laughs> where I can pull over and listen to birds. <laughs> oh, I love you, baby. Anyway. So I, <clears throat> so we're going to have a, yeah. a fun driving it's simulator, fun. basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really like driving. I can't do the the paddle. It throws me off. But yeah, you put me in a steering wheel and... Steering wheel and game on, baby. This is gonna be fun. You're gonna, I'm gonna be have you're gonna be like, No, I'm playing. No, I'm playing. This, this is gonna be fun. I want to play. My, I never really has. got some video games I can just weirdly get into, and others I can't. There's, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I like action video games, but my age, I just, uh, yeah. I don't really the need open video map, games. open world type games like mm -hmm. uh, Grand Theft Auto, the newest one, uh, five that's out. That's an open map game where you can just kind of get in and do whatever, and you just yeah. drive around. Just that's fun. Yeah, I like that. I like just driving around. They don't have cool birds in GTA Five though. I bet you could find them if you just. You know what I did notice is that the uh, Forza Horizon Five. I don't see any birds. I just hear them. Yeah. Unless you're going down by the beach and the ones that are seagulls 
and they're yeah, flying. Say, didn't I've seen did. those. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think I've re- I recall seeing anything else in the air other than the hot air balloons, fireworks, a giant. They got a really cool dragon that made up neat. of a yeah. whole bunch of drones. That's really cool. That is neat. I thought that was a really neat feature in the game. Yeah. And but to be able to just drive whatever car you want, I think that's really fun. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm probably never going to own a Ferrari, a real one. Yeah. Right. Well, you oh, own I mean, one now in your video game. Right. You can. I can get one now in the video game, and I'm I'm playing. In fact, as soon as I get off this thing. I want to drive my Ferrari that I bought for myself in the game. He's not going to drive it. He's going to go park. <laughs> I'm going to drive it. And he's going to drive to the spot and park. <laughs> <laughs> I might drive a little bit more. He sometimes does, he it's does drive. But it's, then he parks. Yeah. But sometimes I just drive just to drive. Yeah, like I he, just want to drive around. Like yeah. I don't, I'm not trying to go fast. I'm just trying to. Like, I think he got booted out of Forza 5, not booted out for anything, but because he was just driving around and not doing any of the activities. Yeah, I think you got to like, yeah. they force you to race. Yeah. They're like, hey, uh, you're not doing what we want you to do, so we're going to kick you offline and give you just the generic, the AI yeah. humans to interact with. Um, and that's how I figured that out and the 10 minute loop on the audio recordings because I swear to God the same bird makes the same noise and then when you're like oh did you hear that one that one's kind of cool and then like four seconds later you hear the same <laughs> like uh, accompanying noise yeah. that's like it was also four seconds the last time you heard the first <laughs> noise so it's like you're like oh yeah that's definitely a loop oh. so well, at least I know what type of person he's going to be when he's his dad's age because he's already getting there. That's fine. I like flying. I love your dad. I'm, I'm going to... I love your dad. I like to fly. I love my dad, too. Yes. And my mom. Okay, I have... Yeah, my husband's very interesting in what he does in life. Only thing I've been doing is cooking keto meals and homemade ice cream. You've been entertaining our new four-legged friend. I, she, I have no choice but to because she stuck to me like freaking. You can't even go to the bathroom without her. No, so she loves both of us. Like she is so excited when Tim comes home. She her butt is touching her nose. She's wiggling so much, yep. but she is attached to me. Once she gets over that excitement. She follows me everywhere in the house. We I think the honeymoon period mm-hmm. is slowly wearing off. Like the excitement of, you're home, you're home, you're home. Like that's mm-hmm. going down. It's not gone. It's still, she still gets excited when she hears the garage door. She's comfortable. She realizes that. Definitely. She's not going anywhere. And we're, well, I think she still thinks I'm leaving because, again, she won't even let me go to the bathroom. With right. Her. Which I feel like I have a toddler again. A well, baby. it's not fair because you don't follow her when she goes to the bathroom no and i really don't want to but she you know when tim when you leave as soon as you walk out that door she jumps up in the bed with me Hmm. yeah she's like and she snuggled up next to me as close as she can get she's smart though so smart she really is she loves us both i'm just the mom as as tony says she's so smuck and fart she really is she really is so smuck and fart. Careful when you're saying that, folks. <laughs> yeah, because that could come out the wrong way. Make sure. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we've had mm-hmm. quite the dog experience uh, in our lives. Nothing you know, exciting for, on the cats. The uh, cats are, you know, I think one of our cats, Luna, he's he's pretty cool with like, uh just make a noise at the dog he will like he'll hiss and he growls he'll bat at her with his paw he, and then, no he will like physically just go and jump on her back well that was just the one time oh no he does it oh yeah okay well i'm not here but yeah no he does it he tries to but at the same time when we're not paying attention he'll act like 
he'll be nice to her. Yeah. And then her and Liza are getting somewhat accustomed to each other. They'll be okay in a couple months. I mean, right. it's just, I think the cats are, uh, where we think we've had to deal with a lot, the cats have had to deal with a whole lot from their their ground floor perspective. You know, Cobain is no longer here, and he was here when they both came into the house. And then Gracie is here, and she's not mellow like Cobain was. She is, you know, she's, Mimi, hi, I love you. And then our emotions with everything. So, but they're getting used to it. So I just looked it up and I said, when a family dog dies, do cats in the house understand what's going on? And it says, cats can certainly perceive changes in their environment, including the absence of a family member or another pet. While they might not understand death in the same way humans do, they can pick up on cues such as the absence of scent or the emotional atmosphere in the household. Some cats may display behaviors indicative of grief, such as increased vocalization, searching for the missing pet, changes in appetite or activity levels. However, each cat is different and their reactions can vary widely based on factors such as their relationship with the deceased pet and their individual temperament. So that's probably what Luna's going through. Yeah. Because he's been very vocal. Yep. And, and he, that's probably why he's angry at her because. Yeah, I mean. Because him and Cobain were finally coming to an understanding that they lived in the same place. Right. He, yeah. you know, he quit hissing at him and he'd actually be six inches from him. Right. But he'll get used to it. Once they realize that she just wants to love on them. Yeah. Because that's all she wants to do. They'll be okay. It's an adjustment. But she's easy to love. Once they see that, they'll be all right. So, um, I what don't else? know if there's anything else to really talk about since we've been just kind of, oh, um, I just had something that just flew. Even with these on, stuff's still coming out my brain. I'm looking at uh, different news feeds. There's oh. not really anything good. No, there's there, there's not anything good. Oh, and I know here in Kentucky, a lot of counties are actually having checkpoints. And Hardin County is, I think, one of they're going to be most one of the most concentrated because they're not giving a lot uh, out a lot of DUIs. Hmm. But there's so many accidents and fatal accidents collisions not accidents. Or collisions yeah. excuse me yeah but they yeah. so they're actually doing that all over kentucky and it's going to be all this month and i think all next month wow so, yeah and the uh, the weather's starting to warm up people are starting to go outside more they're going to start drinking um, outside. yeah they're just start drinking yeah. outside they're, you know folks just be smart about it don't don't drink and drive. Um, if you go some to somebody's house and you drink yeah. too much, give them your keys. Get a designated driver. Find people. If, yeah, yeah. If you have a party at your house, as soon as people walk in your house, have a bowl for them to turn in their keys. Do not let your friends leave. Yeah, your home. It's not worth it if they have been drinking. Get them. Get them a cab. It. A cab yeah. is a lot cheaper than a life lost or, you know the. Right vehicle damage from a you know going off the road or yep. or let's all be yeah. good friends to each other and have each other's backs yeah that's what we need yes we need to be there for each other absolutely in each and every way and so my husband needs help I don't know if my wifey slash best friend, she's not really my wife. Oh, I I thought you meant like mental help. And I'm like, they should know that by now. Yeah, well, (laughs) I don't know if there is any help for you, love bug. (laughs) Um, I will be turning 50 in May. I have no idea what kind of party or gift because I don't ask for anything for my birthdays or parties. But this one, I figure out we need to party half a century old yeah i had you know what somebody asked me 
they were like, you're still in your thirties. Right. And I was like, <laughs> no, <laughs> she didn't believe me. Yeah. I told her I was, I was going to be 48 this May. Yeah. She's like, no way. Yeah. yeah like, you look good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. You look good. I don't think I look like I'm going to be 50. No, no, you so, look good. Thank you. It's because we smile a lot. So anyway, if you guys have any ideas on how or what, I'm sure he would appreciate it. Cause yes. Because I am no help. I can do other people, but I am no I help. Think, I think men in general are like, here's a magazine, circle everything you want, and set it back down. And that Not would be... Gonna work. That's how guys... I know, but it's hard when I'm I'm not materialistic. I don't I like stuff that I know I'm gonna use. Yeah. But I have everything. Well and it's my fifteenth birthday. I don't think I should be getting something for like the kitchen. Yeah, I'm not I don't I can't uh Yeah. It's my fiftieth. Other I than like the party jewelry. itself. Yeah, you're not a jewelry person, no, so I don't you know, clothing, jewelry, stuff yeah. is just not really. I, want I think for you, it's going to be memorable. Oh, you know, I know. Something that it's. We'll go somewhere. Maybe that should be it. Maybe maybe we should plan a trip somewhere. Yeah, we could do that because I know I enjoy spending time with you. Be out and about, adventurous, and I just can't be. The weekend of my birthday, because you know what, I got this. I got a great idea. We can get in the car. There's this place on the highway. We can park next to the road and listen for birds. (laughs) How many of you think that's a great idea? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, oh I You want to listen to birds? You. you don't want to listen to birds? No. No. You'd rather listen to them here? At least here. On I the TV? walk into another room. I'm, I'm going to go drive I'm my not, Ferrari. I'm not at the bird watching phase in my life. Not sure if I ever will be. I... I even. I'll go outside and. I got excited with the chickens in Hawaii. You did. <laughs> oh my gosh! Except I was like, Look, for there's the roosters chicken. that were competing to, you know, who could. Right. We did. We did determine that the chickens that lived right next to us in the first really house apartment that we were in, they were arguing over who was going to wake us up first. Oh my gosh. And so at three o'clock in the morning, they it all started. Won. Yeah, and they all won because yeah, there yeah. it was so loud because you know we had our windows open. We didn't yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but the hill. in Hawaii, there's houses that don't have air conditioning or heaters. Yeah. They're just houses. Just open up the window. That's yep. it. Yeah, seventy-ish degrees year round well it gets a little bit hotter it depends on where you are on the well, yeah. island and and it also depends on mm-hmm. what time of the year so in the winter time at night sure it'll dip down in the mid 50s which isn't that bad if your house is already in the 70s it's yeah. probably only going to get to the mid 60s yeah especially if you close all the windows so it's not that bad yeah. well we had to turn our air on in our house on amr yeah like I said, it just depends on where you're at on the island. I know the house on the hill where the roosters. Yeah, that was fun. That was, we could leave our, leave the windows open up there. That was nice because it was on very top of the yes the hill. It you, was nice. Can you think of anything else? I can't. I, How long have we been talking? One hour 19 minutes and 15 seconds. That's about an hour longer than I thought we were going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I was like, I swear to God, we were going to wing this one. Yeah. It's going to be a 20 minute episode. Like, hi, we don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but this is just our life. This is, yeah. I mean, we, we're just talking about life. We're just, as it happens. Um, 
We're goofballs. We're just, yeah. This we like is, to have fun. We're, we are just your ordinary married couple. Well, no, well, I, I can't know say ordinary. ordinary. <laughs> we, we are, are not, not ordinary. ordinary. No, we're not. That's, I don't know too many people that can <laughs> say that their husband bought a gaming chair so that they can pull over on the side of the road to listen to birds well, in a video one. game. Well, you know one. Maybe, what if I, I what if I started a group? It was like <laughs> bird watchers <laughs> for video game enthusiasts. You should do, so you know how they do the live I'm gonna, feeds I'm gonna do it. of video games? Just do a live feed of you and you'd probably be surprised on how many people watched it. Your dad would probably be one of them. <laughs> Oh my goodness! So, all right, folks. I I'm, think. Oh, what he's doing something. Uh -oh. I tried to. Uh, a w I said, "What is a funny name for a group of people that are bird watchers but only watch in a video game?" And I did this in Chat GPT, and the answer is a whimsical name. <laughs> he had me at whimsical. <laughs> Whim <laughs> It's not hard to entertain them, as you guys have learned. <laughs> whimsical. That was whimsical. I'm going to use that word. Whimsical. Oh, no. Whims I want to look up the etymology of that word. Anyway, a whimsical name for a group of people who enjoy bird watching in a video game could be Pixel Peepers Avian Alliance. <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> Pixel, <laughs> Pixel Peeper. Pixel Peepers Avian Alliance. Unite. Maybe you should take out the peepers and make uh, it peoples. Virtual <laughs> Virios. Virtual okay. Virios. V-I-R-E-O-S. I like the first one better. What's a Vario? Mm -hmm. Search. He's doing some search. Uh, family of birds. Okay. okay. So Virtual Virios. These names playfully combine the digital aspect of video games with the hobby of bird watching. I like the first one. Yeah. Pixel Peepers Avian Al Alliance. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, that's going to be our on Our acronym the next would podcast. be PPAA. <sighs> sorry, you guys. This is a boring say. episode. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> This is, a, no, this is a, Who yeah. else listens to birds in a video game? I'm sure I mean, there's that's, more out there. That's got to be like the dullest thing you could do. I mean, this video game well, was made for like. Yeah, to drive. Awesome cars yeah, and people drive. driving around and I and pull over and I listen. And you're buying a nice to, car to park on the side of the road yeah. and listen to birds. There it is, folks. I'm a bird watcher on the Xbox. <laughs> so all I have to do for gifts is just find him video games that have birds on it. Can you imagine if there was... <laughs> I want you to pretend to be like the business executive of a video game company designing... The dumbest. We have another guest here. Video game. That was our, this is Luna, the one that we were talking about likes to um, yeah make noises, and you might hear one. I Doubt it. Know. He's pretty quiet. Oh no, he's been nope because Gracie's right here, sticking oh. her nose up. Well, maybe. Oh no, he's not. See, he's gonna make. Oh, he's gonna jump over there to you. All right, he's over here. Hey, mm -hmm. what you doing? Why don't you purr right yes, into the microphone? Yes, we've decided we're going to leave our office, here. leave the office open and let our animals in here because we're not trying to be all, can't be other noises. This is our life. And you did you guys hear him purring in the I, microphone? I hope so. I heard him. Did you? Yeah. Let's see if we can get purring? it again. Here.
You can hear it. Thanks, right. folks. Thanks for tuning yes. in and listening yes. to our cat purr. Yes. <laughs> yes. He is a... No, that's... We love our animals. But that's Luna. Yes, he is a he. He yeah. was named when he was little by someone who did not know that... Well, they were respecting his privacy. Yes. Is what it was. Yes, they They just were. didn't do a full-on uh, mm-hmm. crocodile dundee crotch yes. grab. And so we left his name as Luna, and so yeah, we have a Luna, and maybe that's why he gets cranky. Okay, sometimes. I want to know if anyone else does any weird stuff in video games, like pull a car over in a racing game and listen to the birds. Yeah, can and we get somebody else, please? I hope to God I'm not the only one. Someone has to have. Someone has a to do weird something. Weird stuff that they do in a video game that they don't don't want anybody else to know. But my husband just opened up. Like this video game, I'm not gonna lie. Some of these people are straight up artists. Like yeah, they get yeah. on here, and I watched a time lapse of somebody designing and drawing a figure that's just on the side of a car. And I looked at it, and I was like, "Dude, this figure is like, it's wild." Was that that one that? Yeah, the the, the anime. Yeah, and like. It had to have taken them three, four hours. At least. At least to do this drawing. And that's because they're good at it. It would have taken me three or four years to get to that level. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a month. Maybe. I bet it would take about a month for me to get a video game. Yeah. Like a character of that detail. Yeah. Those... But it's it's pretty cool. You can do all kinds of neat stuff in the game. Mm -hmm. You know... um, I bought a 1969 Dodge Charger, had it bright orange, put a zero one on the side, put a flag on the top. You know the flag. You know what I'm saying. Yep. The one that'll get you canceled. That yeah. flag. Yeah. Which is weird. So, yes, let us know if you have any weird quirks that you do in video games and let us know what the word of the day was. Yep. And what platform you heard it on. And the other fun video game thing. And what day? I used to, this is, so all you army folk and, well, military, you'll probably get this, especially uh, if you're army and, and you understand this. I uh, I used to make my character name when I was playing whatever. The, it's like a first person shooter game. I can't remember. Battlefield 1942. I would play this game with the guys uh, in, in the military and I would make my character name. Oh, now I forgot it. (laughs) Well, this is typical. I named him. Okay. I got it now. Stop laughing. I can say it now. Quit laughing or else I'll forget again. Complacency. I would name my character complacency. And I did that so that if I shot you, your screen would read, you were killed by complacency. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's what they always tell us in the army. Complacency will get you killed. (laughs) Well, if I'm a better shot than you in the the video game, my name is complacency and you just died. (laughs) So anyways, folks, thank you for listening to us. ramble on about pretty much whatever was whatever we just happening for the day but you know we did we did lose a pet and and that was pretty hard for us we still we have our days we still kind of struggle we know that everybody that has a pet has to deal with this Mm -hmm. so our condolences go out to you if you have recently lost a pet yes it's not easy because that is your best friend big hugs that is your best friend. I'm a friend. hugger, so there's my big hug to you. I just did a big air hug and you missed it, Tim. What are you doing? I'm watching birds. Husband fat. <laughs> he probably is too on his feet. Probably watch. He probably has a live feed going on. on his I'm computer. watching our cameras. There's no birds in those. <laughs> yes. So if you have lost a pet or if you've even lost a, someone else in your life, yeah. our condolences, our prayers, we'll be praying for you. Prayers yeah. out to the universe, yep. and we will talk to you next week. Yeah, and we're gonna try and yeah. get back on the on the groove of this, and uh, 
we know sometimes we might do every other week and that's just might be because we have had a very uneventful or we have just been extremely busy since it is just Tim and I that do the that does this. Yeah. Our lives have to kind of meet up. We try. Yeah. I mean, we try to get rolling. Sometimes we're, not we're doing just once a month. Lazy. Well, we're sometimes not those we're just kind of. Yeah. I think last well last Sunday it was just really we were still emotionally. Yeah. It was too hard so we couldn't do it, but yeah, we'll do, we're trying to do this at least once a week, if not every other week. So, yeah. but hopefully next time we will have a guest. And again, make sure you go on to our website, The Louder Tales. Yep. Let us know what the word of the day was. Remember, I always say, if you like us, hit like and subscribe. If you don't like us, hit like um, and subscribe <laughs> and follow us, yeah, depending follow on us. what pat f platform you're on. You can be so a creeper. Way, follow us. Just like us and follow us. Yeah, have fun with it. Yeah. I mean, we're just, we're just and too. Leave us a comment on what we can do to be better. Yeah. You'd be like, yes. Stop pulling over on the side of the road on video <laughs> games and listening to birds. <laughs> Go get a life. You Nobody know, wants to I hear that. that. That's fine. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Believe me, I'm getting on and I'm going to drive my Ferrari and I'm going to pull over on the side of the road and listen to some birds. So if you guys are playing Forza. Yeah, if you see look me. Look for the guy come just look sitting for me. on the side of the road. And I'm the guy without the headset. So if you're like talking to your buddies yeah. and you're like, that's the guy without the headset. I've tried talking to him before, but he won't answer. That's, and, uh, you I, have to I, do I, Morse code. Uh, 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 yeah, Morse code. Yeah. Yeah, figure out the horn. Mm -hmm. I decided to do Morse code one day. And uh, just to see if people would pick up on it. And I'm not going to say what I said. It was nothing inappropriate. It was just, <laughs> it was a tinfoil hat. <laughs> it's fun. No, I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. It's fun. <laughs> okay. I I put um, horn horn equals Morse code on my thing. Is that a dog? Yes. Yeah, that's a dog. It's okay. Crazy. That was under my feet. Yeah. So I put Welcome horn, horn and then the colon Morse code. So... If you see me driving a white BMW in this video game and it says horn is Morse code, I'm going to honk the horn and it's going to be Morse code and you got to figure out what it says. It's going to say CIA. <laughs> and that's all I'm saying about it. CIA. You have to figure out Morse code to ask him what he means by that. Yeah. That's just <laughs> plain and simple. Yes. Yeah. Just do it. That yeah. Be, be involved in his craziness like I am. Somewhat. Come and sit and listen to the birds and honk. You know what? The birds don't go anywhere when you honk. <laughs> no. That's something else I've noticed. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not flying away? No. Well, you don't see them anyways. You just hear them. I looked in the trees for probably four <laughs> or five minutes. I was like, it was longer. Is that a bird? I watched. That's not a bird, is it? It was longer. The I mean, they got the leaves moving. They got the water. Yeah. You know, cars. You see the... I wonder if you can see the exhaust drip down. You know how, like, in the mornings? I haven't oh, seen I that. Know. I haven't seen that in the video game. I don't know. That's some That's some crazy detail, though. Yes. I don't, I don't know how detailed they are. I don't know. Do you know how many times we said bye? And we haven't left... <laughs> We just enjoy you guys too it's like much. Like a bad rash. If Go away. <laughs> <laughs> not you guys, me. <laughs> me. I'm the bad rash. No, he's not. No, he's not. I like to have fun. Yes. Folks, like thank giggle. you. Thank you for putting up with our craziness. Did you hear that That pop? No. You didn't hear that? Well, so I just heard that, that well, noise up against the house. Okay. So... I was telling you about. All right, you guys. Sorry, we've had someone who is. No, that's not. That's, okay. Well, yeah. Yep. Okay. Anyway. Sorry, you guys. Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you, guys, for listening. Until Again, next time. Yes, until next time. Hopefully, we'll actually have something to talk about versus just everything. So, all right. To the later. exit. And <laughs> I got to do. Okay, there we go. We hope you enjoyed today's show. And thanks for listening to the Louder Tales podcast. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.